Well, several school districts have already announced delays and closures for tomorrow, so you can see the scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Fox 12's Carly Olson joins us now from Beaverton. Carly, you understand you actually got to go inside one of the schools working to recover from the storm? Mm. Yes, that's right. Here at the Beaverton Academy of Science and Engineering, a fire suppression line burst over the weekend and caused flooding in an electrical room, which then spread to other classrooms. And now staff here and at other schools around the region are trying to assess how to make sure these classrooms are safe enough to welcome, welcome students back inside. Since last weekend, the sound of fans has replaced the sound of students in the hallways of Beaverton Academy of Science and Engineering. So the water spread into multiple classrooms. Public communications officer Shelley Bailey Shaw tells us getting the water out was only the first step. Even though they appear dry, there's actually moisture in the walls. That means they may have to remove the lower portion of the walls and cover them up with tarp until further repairs can be completed this summer. As you can see, they're very specialized classrooms. Uh, it's part of our CTE engineering program. So it's difficult to do that coursework in another, you know, uh, generic classroom. The kids really do need to be in those rooms with that equipment. West Tualatin View Elementary and Cedar Mill Elementary have sustained water damage as well, and district maintenance teams are still finding pipe leaks in other schools. In the Lake Oswego School District, five schools so far have seen water leaks or ruptured pipes, including Lake Grove Elementary and Lake Oswego Middle School. For now, the next step is making sure the classrooms are up to code for students to return. We definitely need heat and we need water. And so those are the two areas that we're focusing on, making sure that all of our schools are up to temperature and that they have running water. Um, then there are issues of can buses access the parking lots and so we're doing a lot of um, snow and ice removal today. Bailey Shaw says even though some repairs will take longer, the temporary fixes will be enough to ensure a safe return. I think that parents should have a high degree of confidence um, that their kids are coming to a building that is safe and sound and we're anxious to get them back into class. Representatives from the Lake Oswego School District tell us that they will be sharing an update about whether school will go ahead tomorrow at around 8 p.m. tonight, so keep a lookout for that. Also, if you're a parent in the Beaverton School District, they say they'll be sharing their update later this evening as well. And representatives with the Portland Public Schools tell us that they are still in the process of assessing the damage to all of their buildings, and they'll be sharing what those damages are as they get that information. Live in Beaverton, I'm Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.